If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the rankings for these newer premier players. So, we got 10 guys, so we are going to be ranking this 10 to 1, starting from least to greatest. Now, guys, saying the word least doesn't actually describe how I feel about these players. It just describes pretty much, guys, the way I'm going to be ranking this to put this in one general statement for you guys is going to be who is most likely to get upgrades also who is most likely to benefit your team because here's the thing right so like, let's just say last year right kyler murray was one of the most likely players to get upgrades and that actually ended up being true how likely did he help your team zero why was that because although kyler murray is a quarterback and he's probably destined to get the most upgrades out of all the cards because he's a quarterback and he's gonna play the most get the most stats you know all that and just the hype marketing around him but what is the issue with him he's a quarterback so you guys there's always gonna be, everyone always wants the best quarterback in madden you always need the best quarterback to compete or you don't need but most people will have them so by always having the best quarterback rick Premier will never be the best quarterback now vice versa let's say a defensive tackle might not be the most fun might only get three upgrades all year but you always have met the one or two spot because no one buys defensive tackles like that in comparison to quarterback so i think that covers everything let's get into these rankings so guys before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already guys, comment down below, let me know what your personal rankings are, even just your top three. Give me your top three down below in the comments, I would love to see those, I'd love to go back and forth and refute some of those down below, so give me something interesting to do. As well as guys, plenty of rookie mirrors here guys, if you do plan to pick up any of these guys, plan to pick up any of them guys, you're going to need 10 tokens per player. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, guys, getting these tokens aren't the hardest thing. They're pretty simple, actually, but they will cost some coins for people who didn't already have Legend here or play the Souls or anything. So, you guys need those coins. Do not buy the packs. I promise you. Do not go buy packs. Do not do any of that stupidity. Go to my sponsor, MMOEXP, down below in the description. Pick up some coins. Do not spend money on EA at this point. Buy coins. You can do a lot more. You can pick up these Rick Premiers and pick up some golden tickets. Go on over there, guys. They got the cheapest coins on the internet. You guys won't regret it. Now, guys, just so you guys do know, Mutt Rewards did actually come out for... Uh, for most people, I believe, hopefully you guys got yours. Mine are here, so I'm gonna open this real quick for you guys on camera. I do plan to use it pretty much as a free Rick Premier. I'm gonna get nine here, I believe. So I will be able to pick up another Rick Premier card in just a second. I should have just enough here, I believe. So we should be at we should have just enough because that's nine. I should have an extra one sitting there. Let's go check this out. I will be showing you guys who I ended up picking as my number one option. Ah, you guys are gonna see it here anyway, sadly, but I already picked him. Now, this was before I did my rankings, but Chase Young, I, here's the thing. I'm going to pick up most of these guys anyways. So I didn't mind who I really picked. I just picked one of my top guys. I did have my official rankings though. So let's see how many do I have. Yep, I got 10. So I can do one more. So let's start with number 10 on the list. That's going to be Cole Komet, tight end for the Chicago Bears. Here's the issue. I've been burned by Hayden Hurst already. I've been burned by the tight end rookie premieres. Reality is, guys, tight ends in the NFL don't always... They don't always flourish year one. It's like a known thing. Tight ends always take like a, it's always a year to learn the blocking scheme and to learn to be a, a better blocker in the NFL, a year to learn the routes, a year to become a polished route runner. Like it can take always, sometimes these tight ends don't show up for two to three years. And that's just the truth. Some some of the best tight ends weren't even around the first year or so that you, even, you didn't even know they were, they were in the NFL yet. Other tight ends come in booming, but those tight ends are like generational tight ends. Like, you know, like you know, those guys are going to boom. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if Cole Komet's going to be one of those guys, especially with the Chicago Bears. Their passing attack hasn't been great. They've been more run heavy, so he could be more of a, you know, a more of a glorified blocker year one. I don't know if he'll get many cards. And when he does get cards, guys, some of these guys that aren't like tight ends that don't get cards all year end up getting the patented 93 overall Ghost of Madden Future card. But by then, you probably have a better tight end. So I'm going to put him at number not 10. Coming in next is going to be Tristan Wirfs. Now, guys, I thought picking a line would be safe. He'd be a He'd be just a safe pick last year, and he barely got any upgrades. And again, guys, Lyman could be useful. If he gets an early on upgrade, you will have a solid, solid athletic right tackle. But the odds of Lyman just don't get that many upgrades. You get like Larry Allen took all year just to finally get that ultimate legend. Like it's been a while. I'm telling you, Lyman don't get a lot of upgrades. So I don't, I don't want to bank on that. It's too risky. Like if you're only going to pick up two or three, I would not waste it on Tristan Wirfs. Pick up another right tackle, in my opinion. I want you guys to get guys who are going to be guaranteed, could be useful, and have depth. So Tristan Wirfs going to be coming in at number nine. Coming number eight, Derek Brown. Derek Brown's he's iffy here. If he does get an early on good upgrade, but like Quinn Williams again did not get any. If he gets an early on good upgrade, guys, very clearly he could be one of the top options because he's a defensive tackle. He's a defensive tackle one and a two. He'll be a depth position at a position where a lot of people don't like buying players, especially the number two one. So he could be very very beneficial because that's what you want. You want a guy that you can like 
The beauty of this is can you get a number two defensive tackle all year? He might not be your starter because you can afford something better, but a number two would be great. Now, here's the thing. Kind of on a weak defense. Sometimes when you're a, a good lineman, a young developing lineman on a weak defensive line or defense in general, you don't always show because they're going to... A line of five people is going to be able to overpower a bad line, even though he could be killing people. That's just the case now with Chase Young. On the other hand, he's on a really good defensive line now, all developing. Could get a lot of one-on-ones. And if he does get double teams, good enough to beat through it. So you might not notice him for a while, so I'm not going to be going with him. Number seven, a guy that I really like, but I think will be hard to get upgrades on, CeeDee Lamb. Now, CeeDee Lamb, for the simple reason is that I think he's one of the best players in this draft. I really like him, but here's the issue. Cowboys are run heavy. Now, that's fine because they do have a very efficient passing game. Here's the thing though, they did change their offensive coordinator. That could change a decent amount of stuff. Could that make him better? Could that make him worse? I don't know. But guys, they Dak was one of the best passing stats-wise last year. So saying he's a, their pure rushes is an ignorant statement for most people. But here's the point I'm trying to make. When they do pass the ball, they typically lean on their one and two. Right now their one is Cooper, and that's he's Cooper's the one, and Gallup's the two. Now could CD end up taking like a two one a two A two B kind of a Gallup? Possible. But do I see him getting enough usage in that situation, at least year one, to really make him like a guy who's getting weekly team of the weeks? Now, that's the only way I see him getting it, is if he has like one week where Cooper does get hurt quite a bit. So I think if Cooper gets hurt, it's very likely CD Lamb could slip into a 1A, 1B with a uh, Gallup for a little bit and end up getting like some team of the week, 150 yard game kind of team of the week card that gets the upgrade. That is where he's good. But again, that's a lot of wishful thinking. He's going to have to get an injury. They're going to have to become a better passing team, which is very hard because they were pretty good last year. That's just my personal opinion. Next, coming to the list at number six, it'll be mckinney which is the guy the giants take the xavier mckinney now i like him he's super athletic i like him for next year because he's gonna be like a hybrid safety he can play man he's fast he's strong he can hit he seems like he's i think a isaiah simmons but at safety you know isaiah simmons plays everywhere apparently but he's he, this guy's a pure safety but i think he can play he's very dynamic and that's why i like him but he's on the giants we have a weak defense so again sometimes safeties can get washed out in a weak defense like when landon collins looked good our defense was phenomenal what our defense suck landon collins looks great anymore I think McKinney could be better than Collins, but that is yet to be seen. But I do like him. I think if he does if he does start off well and the Giants start off decently enough on defense, he could really be seen. And safety's got a pretty decent amount of upgrades. Coming at number five is Jeff Okuda. Now, I really do like Okuda. Again, another issue with cornerbacks on a weak defense, they could not be seen because they're going to run a lot on you. They could pass to other people, you know. But Jeff Okuda's super athletic. Great coverage, guys. So I could see him getting an early on card that could into cornerback. There's a one, two, a three, and a four. So even if he only gets like an, in the first month, he only has an 84 overall card, let's say. Like he gets, a, and that's still pretty good. An 84 overall card, could be your three. Even if he's an 81 overall card, could be a three. He's very useful at a depth position. That's why he's going to be in the top five, regardless of where he plays. And I think he could have a pretty good rookie year. I think he's even one of the defensive player, uh, defensive rookie of the year candidates, probably, at least early on when things start up. Coming number four is Joe Burrow. And again, a guy you're probably saying he's a quarterback. He's going to start from day one. He's got to be number one. That is not true. Joe Burrow, let's say, by the end of the first month, and not even the first month of Madden, because again, the season is, oh, we're starting August 25th this year. Let's say a month, end of September, Joe Burrow doesn't get a card, right? Because here's the thing. For Joe Burrow to get a card, unless they give him that rookie showcase card or whatever, the only way you really get a card in the first month would probably be for him would be a team of the week. That's it. And what are the odds that a Bengals quarterback gets team of the week with how well the Bengals offense has been the past years? I don't know. Is he that good? Remains to be seen. Might, it might be a developing period. Kyler Murray took a few weeks to get his first card. Now, what he could get, guys, which is possible, is a preseason hero card because Joe Burrow kills it in the preseason. That is the case where he gets an 84 overall, probably 83 over 84 overall team of the week card. But the issue with that is, again, when he gets that card, there's basically Mahomes already. There's basically Kyler Murray. There's a lot of other cards already. So, and at quarterback, especially the first month, you want the best guy. Like that, that's the fun of it, right? You get that best guy. That's, that's the difference maker with abilities. I just don't see Joe Burrow ever being a real useful player, but he is probably most likely to get the upgrades. So he's going to come, come in at number four. Number three is a guy that I'm really hyped for. My issue is going to be, will they give him the speed next year? Clyde edwards alaire going to probably be the, the, the A back coming into the preseason for the Chiefs. Could easily get a team of the week hero, guys. He's on a pass-heavy offense that gets a lot of holes for running backs because you're so worried about McCall Hardman. You're so worried about Tyree Kill. Watkins, Kelsey, so worried about everyone else that the running back just eats. And this is actually a good running back. Like they've had bum running backs, you know, bum running backs do a lot better in that position. I think Clyde Edwards Alaire, really good talent, and he can catch. So it's just gonna be it's gonna be a crazy offense next year. I think he's going to just even even though he's great, he doesn't have to be great to feed eat in that offense. And because he is great, I think he could be a very, very good player. And like and Andy Reid even said, he's a better version of Brian Westbrook. So 
If that is the case, you know he's going to be used a lot. I think he'll get tons of upgrades, and he could always be just a receiving back for you all year if you don't end up liking him as your main power back or main elusive back, whatever they end up tending him towards, because obviously right now you can't base it off of this year. He has everything this year. I think he's going to be more of a receiving type back, but could still be an elusive back depending on what they give him. Coming in number two was a guy that I'm really, really high on for next year. Guys, Patrick Queen is looking like one of the best ones. Could even fall into number one, depending. But again, he's a middle linebacker. Could take time. They're going to want him to be a leader of the defense. Could take time to adjust everything. But like like last year, Devin Bush. Devin Bush was a starter all the way up until April on my team. Like he's still there as even like a third. Devin Bush is just phenomenal. He was super fast. Now Patrick Queen is supposed to be even faster than him. Like I think he could potentially get a higher speed than him, depending on how Madden does speed next year. Or at least right up to par. So he could be a great... My, my thing with Devin Queen, he, Patrick Queen, is he could play day one. You get him as he starts off as a 75 overall rookie, let's say with an 84 speed 86 speed anywhere even decent that can, can, can keeps him as one of the high speed guys he's going to be a great great user day one so i think he'll be used day one and if he even gets one or two upgrades like bush did the second he gets an upgrade he's the top user speed linebacker can't miss out on him and he has the ability to get a lot of upgrades he's a middle linebacker on the ravens ravens always get a lot of cards next on the list coming at number one is gonna be chase young chase young specifically for many reasons first off that top generational type end always gets a lot of upgrades early on. The Aaron Donalds and those type guys. They always get a lot of upgrades. EA loves those guys. Second, he's playing with Montez Sweat. He's playing with the Aaron Payne. He's playing Chase Young. There's one other guy I'm missing right now. Cannot remember it. But that D-line is pretty stacked. So he's going to get a lot of opportunity to sack quarterback. He's going to be a great run stuffer. They're going to want to hype him up. They're going to give him cards. And odds are, he ends up getting a lot of upgrades. And he's at end. What better than a nice pass rushing end to start the year off with too? Especially if he gets like, even if he gets the rookie card, the rookie uh, premier card type thing. Not rookie premier, rookie showcase card. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? That like blue set every year that one rookie gets. I mean, last year they didn't do it with, uh, they did it with Josh Allen who wasn't a rookie premier and then same thing this year. But they did do it with Saquon Barkley one year, which is pretty cool. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know your top three down below. So to wrap it up, Cole Komet, Tristan Wirfs, Derek Brown, CD Lamb, Isaiah Mc Xavier McKinney, sorry, Jeff Okuda, Joe Burrow, Clyde Edwards Alaire, Patrick Queen, and Chase Young. Those are my top 10 guys. Again, if you need coins, head over to the sponsor. Get these cards up. And real quick before we head on out of this video, for my number two, I sure as hell do want Patrick Queen. Just like my rankings, I want Chase Young, I want Patrick Queen. I think these are solid, solid cards. And right now, guys, he's probably a great user. Just look at this real quick. He's got 95 speed, guys, with Sprinter. If he, I believe he can get Sprinter, right? Can you give him Sprinter? I'm not entirely sure here. Ooh, he cannot get Sprinter. But he does have a 95 speed, which is still super solid. Great card. I believe he has a decent height. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.